what's happening guys it is time for another movie review uh me and my daughter you know gracie by now we went and watched another movie the invisible man now at first my first impression was like it's gonna be like all them uh movies where the husbands attack the wives and the wives try to leave the husbands that style of movie kind of like the I don't know what the name of that movie movie that J-Lo did, but type, that type, so I was, I was like, you know, I'm gonna go watch it because it's a newer movie that's out and I wanna review the newer movies. Uh, and, you know, cause maybe you haven't seen it yet. So I went and watched it anyway. Now it started off super intense, right off the bat. Don't you think so? Yeah. I mean, right off the bat, it started to where it was, uh, it was, you were already on the, like, I'm talking seconds into it. You only, you don't even know what's happening. And you're like, oh no, what's happening? What's happening here? I looked over at uh, Gracie and she was like, <laughs> <laughs> wasn't it intense right off the bat? Yeah. So what do you think about it? Um, I, I, exactly what he said. I thought it started more in the middle and then to the end. I don't think it started from the beginning. That's what I... What do you mean, about. started from the beginning? I feel like it didn't show what happened in the beginning, but it just started... But yeah, we didn't, the yeah, we didn't know what was happening, what was going on. Eventually, you follow along pretty quickly, I think. But, uh, yeah. but I, I enjoyed it. What do you rate it? I rate it. I, on my rating scale, it's a little weird. Because I want to rate the good movies really good. I don't know if y'all see that light right here. Yeah, I see it. I can see it. <laughs> but if y'all can see it, I apologize for it. Can't do nothing about that. I hate that. I hate when light. I hate when lights do that. It's just because of the sun. Yeah, that's the sun. You just kind of have to live with it. So, I was. Uh, you know, I like to rate movies like they supposed to be rated. I like to rate them A's or like super, super good. And I, I know I keep saying this, but you new people that's, that uh, you know, haven't seen this yet, B's are like solid movies that maybe even Academy Award winning movies. A's are movies like Forrest Gump, Titanic, uh, The Gladiator. I mean, those are old school and movies that uh, Shawshank Redemption, you know, just straight out. Green Mile, A's. These movies are great. B's are good movies uh, that you would like to go see again and and uh, that you, you tell people they're really good. C's are movies, uh, C plus, I give it plus and minus two. They're, they're like movies that you're, you enjoyed. You, you enjoy a C plus. So I'm gonna give this movie a C plus. I enjoyed it. I thought that uh, that don't change your don't change your number just because I not. changed mine. Uh, I, I I enjoyed it and I would say, I would recommend if you like these type of movies that you should go see it because it is exactly what you want. If you load, I don't really like those type of movies, but I'm judging it as uh, that type of movie, and I'll give it a C plus. The acting was amazing, amazing. Uh, because obviously it's about something invisible and she has to act like something is invisible. So I give it a C plus and now what do you do? I rate it a B plus because I really like scary movies, but that's just my personal opinion. To me, it wasn't a scary movie. To me, it was more like a- Jumpy. Like a nightmare. Like something that would happen to you in yeah. real life. It would be more nightmarish, which that yeah. could it, that could really be scary. But it wasn't, to me, it wasn't like a, uh, Saw type scary movie or the Texas yeah. Chainsaw Massacre. It was more like Nightmare on Elm Street. Like no, it, was it wasn't like Nightmare, Nightmare on Elm Street scary. No, Those but it was a scary. dream. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. But it yeah. was more like like it couldn't happen, but it could happen in like a dream. Yeah, what, but what if something like that could happen? Technology's getting better and better. I don't think that. People didn't think they'd be talking on phones. People didn't I think. I mean, maybe. You, people didn't think you would. You, you're able to talk. I can call somebody from China right now, on the phone, right there with no wires there. But so still, things happen like, that seems impossible. 
don't know. Maybe you never know. So I give it, you give it a B plus. That's a high rating. I liked it a lot. Okay. I feel like the only thing was that it started out in the middle and then the end. That's the only thing I really didn't like about it. But other well, than oh, that, it's, it, was it like, didn't really start in the middle. It started where it was supposed to start, but it just started kind of like you don't know really what happened. But you'll see it. We don't want to give spoilers. You don't know what really, you know, why she's. I'll say this much because you see it right off the bat. But why is she leaving? Why is she getting out of bed? Like what? What's going on? What's happening? Right off the bat, that's what happens. So uh, I think that you'll like it. I think it's something you can take your family to go see. You can take kids to go see. It wasn't. Uh, wasn't aggress too aggressive, uh, but uh, I recommend it. So C plus are movies that I recommend and I don't mind spending my money on. So a B plus, that's a super good movie for her. So she's younger generation, they're probably really gonna like this movie. So older generation, you probably get the C minuses. You, about yours, you get the B pluses. So that was it. And I uh, was about to go get into another movie. But I wanted to do. I want to. We can go in another, walk in a, another theater. But then I said, "Oh, this ain't right. We need to, we need to just go." And then, then uh, we'll come back and watch it. That the dog, the wild dog, or whatever the yeah. call of the wild, or something like that. Anyway, we appreciate you watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Hit that notification button and like it. Comment below if you've seen the movie already. We'd like to know what you think about it. And uh, I know I haven't given anything a B yet, but I'm waiting, I can't wait to do that. Because that, that means I just seen an amazing movie, especially if I give it an A. I was thinking when I was on my way home, like uh, movies like Hacksaw Ridge, that didn't get much attention. I would've gave that movie an A. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can get notified when these things drop. Keep hope alive.